Hi everybody and welcome to this uh, pick a card reading which is timeless and this one is for which chakra needs your attention right now. So I have actually got a pile for each chakra which you won't know until you pick. So um, if you're new to pick a card readings just pick the pile that you're intuitively drawn to. Um, if you want to pause the video and do a brief meditation to see which one um, stands out to you the most, this is the best time to do it. But basically this is pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four, pile five, pile six, and pile seven. So without further ado, I think we'll just get to it. Okay, welcome to my pile ones. Now let's see which chakra wants your attention. We've got... The root chakra, well that's a bit on the nose with the first chakra. So those, for those who are not familiar with the chakras completely, um, the position of the chakra is at the base of the spine, the root chakra. Um, it is red, is its colour. Its main role, um, it basically is survival and the normal physical primal needs of the body. Um, for the bodily area, it is based on the legs and the base of the bo um, body and is associated with the sense of smell. So this is where you basically feel a sense of security and when it's unbalanced, you can feel fear and insecurity. So at the moment, it is asking you to acknowledge this part of yourself. So this is very much a, a masculine um, chakra. The animal it's associated with is the elephant. The planet it's associated with Mars and it's normally associated with the energies of Aries and Scorpio. Okay, so we'll reveal some tarot cards to see what's going on with it at the moment. Queen of Wands in negative and Three of Cups in negative. Okay guys, so I definitely get the feeling from this at the moment that you guys are having a lot of turmoil with family or a lot of arguments, particularly with a family, family member or just issues arising that have something to do with your childhood, which is very much where the root chakra stores a lot of it, that inner fear, the insecurity. And it's stemming to, yeah, it's, it's coming basically from your family and it's created this very... Um, logical person you 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 be, you've become really intellectual because you're so scared of trusting instincts or being emotional because it's it's if you let that doorway in then you feel like you're got you're letting in hurt you're fearing your own emotional self you're feeling you're fearing that part of you because you're being you're you're scared of being let down so um your root chakra is coming up at the moment asking you to Open yourself up emotionally. Look at to why these issues with your family are coming up. They're really coming up just to show you what you're still carrying, what you shouldn't need to carry anymore. With the Queen of Swords present here, she's definitely showing that you've intellectually risen to a place of, of height of intelligence, really. And now it's time to really connect and turn the Queen upside down because the Queen of Swords is actually very powerful in the sense that she's not only intellectually mastered herself, but she understands the necess necessity of the emotional side and using them both to do what's best for her. And that's something you've got to now bring in. You've got to bring in this emotional energy, open yourself up. You're so protective of hurting, getting hurt and, and, and being disappointed and being let down or not being appreciated that you're shutting all of that out. You're shutting all of it off and you fear that you're not going to be safe. You're not going to be protected or appreciated and just hurt. And that's, I send my love to you right now, but that's why they're coming up. That if a lot of family issues have been coming up right now, it's your root chakra trying to show you what you're still holding on to because you don't need to hold this anymore. You don't, you're not in the place that you once were and you no longer need to carry it. You've, you've worked through what you need to work through, but you just now need to open up to trust again, to love again, to security again. And we'll clarify with some 
oracle cards here. We've got the Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Joy, as I do will so mow to be, let joy and light radiate from me. And confidence, be earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light and burn higher. Yeah, you guys need to... You don't need to fear other people, maybe how you may fear your like how you have learnt fear from for yourself. Um, this may not be family. This could be, um, you know, if you were bullied in school or something, you know, or the teachers were rude to you, or you learnt something from adults or other equal children that made you just close off part of yourself. Like that's what this is coming down to. Something in early on in your childhood that's just really affected you but now it's no longer necessary because you've built yourself into a, a person that no longer needs no longer needs to feel this way you don't need to hold on to this anymore um, you're carrying it for no reason and you know to be at the base of your spine it's only radiating up and you're creating this life out of fear the fear's done enough to teach you but you don't need to hold on to it because you're a prepared adult now um, it's time to get in touch with your joy get in touch with your inner child find confidence in what you've done and who you are you know there's, that's one main thing when you become an adult out of your home you can start to define who you are and define that you never will let yourself feel this or you'll never let yourself feel that and this is your time like trust that you have your best interests at heart and really love and appreciate yourself for how strong you are because that's all it's meant to do you need to really hone in on what makes you feel secure what makes you feel safe and just provide it for yourself because at the end of the day you are all you need you are on your journey and that's all that's necessary there's going to be things coming up in your life these these issues and these old dramas and that's divinely intervened because the universe wants to highlight these things you're still holding on to and ask you to let them go let let them just you don't need to do this anymore you don't need to live in fear Fear just stops you from living and you don't want it to stop you from some incredible newer things that are just going to change the way you see life. Now I've got some clarifying chakra cards here. Now this is just to highlight if maybe there's chakras that could help support this and their energy. So you have the star chakra, universal light and the third eye spiritual awakening. So there's there's a lot of, um, uh, if you've clicked on this video, I already, I, I hopefully assume that you've already got some experience with working with chakras and doing some basic spiritual work. And I just feel like if you're willing to look at your fear and actually let it go, it is only going to amplify you and reconnect you deeper to yourself. Because trust me when I say, before you were afraid, you were just a light. You were just a light that shone. And someone did may have stopped that or blocked that or made you run away and hide in fear. You don't need to do that anymore. You've made yourself a strong enough person that you just now need to let that pass and trust that you're going to take care of yourself and connect to the light again that you had within you. Remember that you did begin as light. You did. But you don't need to punish yourself and still live in fear that's going to be taken away because you control your life. You have the power to not let those people in again. And so this is only just going to elevate you to a new level, letting go of this fear, this insecurity. Very much with this confidence card, if you're feeling insecure, this is only going to make you more confident within yourself because you're going to get to know and love yourself on this deeper level, which does in a way elevate leading to a certain spiritual awakening with connecting deeper to yourself. So that's all I'm seeing for my pile ones. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you can, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below for any future readings. But other than that, bye guys. Okay, welcome to my pile twos. Now let's see which chakra is trying to send you a message. You've got the third eye. So the third eye chakra is the one that's um, located just above and in between both your eyes. Um, this is where knowledge and clarity come into it. Um, the pineal gland is the gland that's associated with it and it also is associated with your sight. But 
It's in a positive when you people find you or you find yourself quite insightful because you allow intuition to come in, but it becomes um, a blocked when you find yourself caught in muddled thinking and you're just not confident in what you see or trusting your own nature. So this one basically goes to an indigo blue color. It is a yang chakra, so a masculine energy. The planet associated is Jupiter. The zodiac energies that are with it are Sagittarius and Pisces. And yeah, like I said, it represents the eyes and the skull. So let's see your clarifying tarot cards for it. So we've got Moonchild. And Knight of Swords. Okay, guys. So you guys, at the moment, your ego is telling you, I want to rush ahead and I want to get to where I need to go and I just need to run and blah, 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 blah. I just need to rush ahead. Like the Knight of Swords, he's on his, he's, you know, on his horse, he's ready for battle, his sword is pointing forward and he just charges. He is charging into battle. But the thing is, is that you can't, you, it's, it's not your time to charge into battle. You're charging in almost blindly because that's the thing, when you go so fast, you miss what's around you at the time. And that's what the Knight of Swords is saying. It's, it's saying that you're blocking half your vision by keeping such a singular goal in mind and just charging towards that one thing. You're missing all the things that are around it at the time. Are you even charging towards something that you're supposed to be or are you just doing it because you just want to, there's too much going on, you're refining your, basically, your battle skill down to one. It's asking you to, to no. <laughs> it's saying, let's not charge. The best thing about Knight of Swords is he does, he's able to do that. He is able to charge ahead and hit a goal. When he finds a goal, he is able to hit it and he is able to charge into battle fearless. He is fearless. But the thing is, you can get caught up in the addiction of being fearless. And that's the thing when this moon child card here, you really need to connect to yourself like the phases of the moon. There are days where you're going to be a new moon and it's going to be quite dark and it's a new seated idea. There's going to be times where you're building up and building up. And then there's going to be times where you're at your best version of yourself at the full moon. And then there's time where you've got to let it go and heal after being your best self. And then it starts all over again. Everything is a cycle. Just like you are, you ebb and flow. If you're a female, you get what I mean because we're on a monthly cycle. But as a man, it's even been proven that men can have their own cycle. They just don't have, you know, a female's, <laughs> a female's quite intense cycle. But they do have their own as well. You ebb and flow. If you've been riding high on this on uh, you know uh, this great idea and it's just given back all this abundance there's going to be a time where you're not so abundant it doesn't mean you're going to lose anything it just means that things need to take a break they need to rest they need to relax look at the seasons even the seasons change and you know new growth comes in they grow they grow you harvest then they fade and die and then you wait for the new growth and that's how everything has worked for so long everything has a cycle and you've got to trust that you do have this fearless energy if there is something that you can achieve because you follow your intuition that's the other thing the knight of swords follows his intuition and i can see you have that you have that strength and you have that in you but it's just saying don't charge your head yet it's saying that before you charge, take in when the best time for you to pursue it is. Take in your cycle. Understand how you work, what you need, what, what amplifies you, what takes from you. Just understand your own cycles. Have that intuition of self as much as intuition of the world. And you will find with your fearlessness that you can conquer anything. Because your intuitive abilities partnered with your fearlessness will just, it will just be crazy successful because you're so amazing and it's just understanding yourself you just need to understand what you need and your cycles and when the best time is so just to pick some clarifying cards here i've got break the chain 
energy, a light inside my fire divine energy fill me and make me shine and inspiration, Isis goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. Yeah, you guys are you guys are doing something here. This here says ancestral patterns healing, rewriting the future. That's definitely what you're doing right now and already I, I can feel this momentum. I can feel it. And it's not like where other people you would inhibit your um, your journey or this healing you want to do it and you're ready to do it you just have to wait till that divine timing to that cycle through waiting and taking that time to prepare and hone your vision you may find new inspiration comes in you might find a durability and a versatility in the energy and this fearlessness that you have that it can withstand not just a sprint but a marathon as well like this is what it's teaching you it's teaching you to hone that to trust your intuition to trust what your heart's telling you not what your ego wants to do and that's what the third eye very much is it's trusting your intuition whereas the solar plexus is trusting your ego and self so that's very much what it's asking you to do at the moment this is some clarifying chakra cards to help so yeah you are determined the solar plexus has really fueled you with this incredible determination and then you've got the earth chakra grounding yeah you guys really need to settle in and get your roots and really get in touch with yourself because once you lift off if you don't have your footing you could misfire you don't want to misfire okay so this is just take the time to really get in touch meditate on what you're desiring what you want and really put that energy at peace grounded in the earth and grounded in the sky and just feel that and when the time is right you won't have a question it will be like a, a big yelling voice in your head saying go and you will go i have no doubt about that because you are meant to break the chain you're breaking the chain you have no need to worry. They just don't want you to charge before you're prepared. So just really take the time to ground yourself. Really take the time to, to meditate and manifest more. Just you, The time will come when you need to charge. But at the moment, it is not now. So that's what your, your third eye chakra is trying to say. It's saying look at the bigger picture of it all instead of just honing your vision down to... The black and white the the ego of the two eyes of duality it's it's having enough presence of mind to see beyond both okay so that's all I'm seeing for my pile twos I hope you enjoyed this reading if you can give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below for any future readings but other than that hi guys hello to my pile threes and welcome to your pile let's see what chakra you're working with today so we have the heart chakra so obviously the heart chakra is located in the center of the chest, where your knee, where your heart is. So this one definitely relates to love, relating, empathy, respect, and it is connected to the heart and lungs. The gland it's connected to is the thymus. So this is the loving and loved, the compassionate center. Um, when it is in um, when it's unbalanced you find you're unloving or unloved um, generally so the color for it is green it is a yin chakra so it is feminine energy the element of it is air the planet is Venus which is planet of love obviously and the zodiac signs of Taurus and Libra so let's start here with your tarot cards We've got Eight of Pentacles and so I Ace of Swords. Okay, so the Anna, the Heart Chakra or Anahata Chakra is basically coming in saying that you're going to have um, a sense of mental clarity come in and this is going to lead to a new venture and a new prosperous idea really where you can find a sense of celebration through hard work and really get something coming back to you after putting in a lot of effort to um, it's showing a sense of self-determination but what the heart chakra is saying here is that it's asking you not to forget what you love it's forgetting what what you truly love to do because when we get caught up in a new um, 
mental energy or material energy, which is what's definitely here, we can forget what brings us joy and what we love and what why it makes us happy. And it's asking you at this time that this is the time not to forget what makes you happy. If anything, it's going to amplify all of this. You know, act from a place of love and it's only going to come back to you. If you act from a place of ego or pride or fear or anything like that it's not going to come back to you in in a good way so but i don't see that this is happening for you it's more a highlighted thing um that the heart chakra just wants to say remember what makes you happy and you will find it will come back to you you know to love is to endure um, that's the one true gift of the Anahat is you can is to love the good the bad the ugly It's unconditional love, you know, it's endless. It's limitless and That's the the thing there's going to be the good the bad with or anything that you do but it's remembering why you're doing it and the joy and What why it makes you happy? That's going to help it persevere So you've got here Lemuria creating heaven on earth. It's happening Imagination now sets me free. Divine ones, I said thanks to thee. I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. So yeah, guys, I really feel also that this is also a time for gratitude for you, which is really important, for, especially for the heart chakra, is to have gratitude. Um, because these things happen because you're in a place within your heart where, you know, your energy has mirrored out to you something quite auspicious back for you and that's something to honor feel gratitude start a gratitude diary and really tr keep track because that's only going to help amplify your heart is when you work from gratitude and with this imagination with send thanks to thee I feel like you haven't been able to do that yet feel gratitude for that and it's asking you to don't forget to feel gratitude for every day of what you're living because you guys are creating something quite beautiful with this Lemuria card here. So it's just, it's asking you to remember the inner light, the inner joy, the inner love, and just have gratitude for what it's bringing you. Not a lot of people will, like, uh, it's more of a trend now to, you know, be grateful. But back a, a long time ago, it wasn't. It wasn't a thing to say thank you, to thank you for the lessons, to thank you for the hard times, and to thank you for the good times. You know, not a lot of people would have enough presence of mind to do that. They just expect it. So it's just, the heart chakra is just asking you to have gratitude, to give back the gratitude of what you've reflected. Thank yourself. Thank the universe or whoever you particularly worship or look up to or believe in. And just having that gratitude will keep you afloat, will keep you alive. So I've got some clarifying cards here. We've got your third eye, peace and love. Yeah, so I'm de definitely attracting some new love energy here. By uh, it's definitely speaking, if you if you're finding that gratitude within yourself, you'll be at peace with yourself because you know you're acknowledging what you you've been able to do and achieve, and what others uh, or the universe has been doing and helped you achieve. And that's only going to help you find this resolution. If times even get tough, because you're already exercising this gratitude, it won't get to you so much like maybe it once did before, but it won't now because you'll be exercising this gratitude. Because this venture that you're on, I, it's like, like this card says, it's heaven on earth. It just feels like this is meant to happen and it is only the biggest gift possible and you don't want to get bogged down on all the little things that stress you out you just want to work with gratitude and with love and not forget that don't get weighed down by the technical details and the mental you know ramifications and other people's drama and all that just have gratitude and work with a place of love um, that's all i'm seeing for my pile of threes i hope you enjoyed this reading if you can give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below, that'd be great. But other than that, bye guys. Hi guys, and welcome to my pile fours. Let's see the chakra that has got a message for you today. That's the crown chakra. Beautiful. So the crown chakra is a level of spiritual, it's spirituality basically. It's on the crown of the head. 
is connected to the pineal and um, the central nervous system through the body. Um, when it's in a positive, it's generally because you're working with spirituality or connected to what makes you feel spiritual. When it's in a negative, you'll find yourself very untrusting of others, of the process and of life, basically. Um, it is a violet color, this chakra, and it is the connection of the yin and yang. So it's actually both. The planet for this chakra is Saturn and the zodiac signs are Capricorn and Aquarius. The facial area is the top of the head as well. So let's see your tarot cards to start with. We've got Judgment and Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys are really... Um, you're at kind of a war with yourself. I'm definitely feeling, I feel like your yin and yang of the energies of this chakra are very at war because your masculine um, energy, particularly with the four of pentacles, is coming in and defining abundance and materialistic wealth and social status versus the judgment card, which is a deep emotional rite of passage and almost a, a spiritual elevation. And it's, it's kind of a war between what's tangible and what's not, what is physical and what is spiritual. You're, there's a real conflict there um, at the moment. And that's, it would make sense, it makes sense with the crown chakra, that's really relevant. There is a particular rite of passage that wants to come through, that wants to elevate you higher, really connecting to this deeper spiritual energy. I feel like you guys are very deeply spiritual and you've been working on this path for quite a while, but there's a rite of passage that wants to come in and usher in this, this new time, this new elevation, you know, for all your hard work. But there's something of you that's just still holding on. Like this woman, look at how she's clutching at her throat. She's holding on to what she has. She's getting possessive and holding on to what she knows. And I am definitely speaking from personal experience. It is really difficult, I understand, to let go of what's safe. You know, there's, it's, 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 it's quite a struggle when what you know about the world and what you understand about the world and letting that go. And that's something that goes with the crown chakra. This is, goes beyond the, the physical and the material world and this is letting that go but you're holding on to it to dear life because it's the last vestige even though you're spiritual and very open to that kind of stuff there's just a part of you that just doesn't want to let go of the identity of it of the identity of the material aspect of it um yeah, I, can, I, I the only reason I'm conflicted is because it's something I'm dealing with right now. So I really feel for you. Like there, it, it's hard. It's hard because there's an insecurity in you that's hold, that's holding on, is scared of the unknown. And but this rite of passage is coming in, going. You deserve this next phase. This is what you've deserved all along because you've worked so hard but you just have to be able to let go. The crown chakra is the ultimate version of letting go because this is the part that transcends of being male or female, of being separate as a female or separate as a male. There is, it's letting go of the ideals, the mask, the ego. That is a big deal, especially when you know we're born into this earth, we forget who we are. And that's very much what this is challenging for you and you're just hoarding, you're, you're hoarding material insignificant things. And, you know, at the end of the day, if, if, you know, if we left this planet tomorrow, what would be valuable? Would it be that rite of passage that would have elevated you more, that showed you beyond death? Or would it be those things that are now suddenly matter nothing when you've passed on? Like that's, that's what it's showing you. It's trying to show you that and elevate your spiritual experience more. But you have to be willing to let go of those, just the social standing and the material aspect because it, it you've worked for this. You've, you deserve this. It's 
it's a new heightened awareness and it, it wants to come in you just have to let it i feel really redundant saying this to you because like i said i'm going through this right now and i feel like i'm giving advice on something i should be listening to but anyway <laughs> So we've got here transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. Yeah. Health, Mother Earth, sweet Mother Earth bright. Bring to me your health and might and wisdom. On a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. Yes, this is to, it will only elevate your connection to spirit or to God or the goddess, whichever, whichever, resonates with you but that's what this is for you know this is for your own well-being and your own wisdom to learn you there's a transformation that wants to come in and it's happening for your for you it's happening for everything you've done and you just you've, you've got your nails in hook line and sinker and you're refusing to budge and <laughs> I, I don't know if you're realizing it but you are you're holding on to the things that aren't relevant that aren't important um so i've got some clarifying chakra cards here i've got balance with the root chakra and self-mastery with the solar plexus chakra yes you guys have got some sort of insecurity and fear that's holding on in the root chakra that needs to be let go this is a lot of lower chakra stuff that maybe you haven't fully dealt with but there's a mastery in being yourself and this is a moment to master yourself to to elevate to a higher version of yourself connecting to the deepest parts of who you are and it's available available to you and it wants you to open up it wants you to open up to it so it can open up to you but you've just got to be able to let go there's a song on spotify i want you to listen to it it's called it's by joseph william morgan and it's called let go and honestly i found it by accident when i was really lost and i cried when i heard it because it was like it was singing to me and i feel like it's singing to you i can hear the song in my head it's just yeah you guys have got to let go so that's all I've got for my pile fours. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you can please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below, that'd be great. But other than that, bye guys. Hello to my pile fives and welcome to your reading. Let's see which chakra we'll be working with. And you have the solar plexus. Chakra of will. So this is the one that's above the navel and is considered around the center of the spine. This is where your self-belief and your willpower comes from, your worthy, how worthy you feel and your confidence. This is around the digestion area, the glands it, it connects to is the pancreas and the endocrine gland and it is connected to the site as well. When this is in its, when your it's healthy, it's spinning clockwise, I should say, it, you radiate a, a confidence and you yeah you exude like a confidence and you don't you don't need to prove that confidence either if you get too kind of how do I, how do i want to say it if it if it gets exaggerated you need to prove your confidence so that's where it gets in the unhealthy section but if it's deficient that's where you feel really unworthy and you let people walk over you so this is a yellow colored chakra it is the yang energy so it's fire planet is ruled by is the sun so it is the center of what was considered our galaxy so of our system so that's why it feels really powerful and then the zodiac sign associated with it is obviously the leo <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's see what your message is regarding this is. So we've got strength with the lion and lovers. Okay, so I feel like you guys really need to connect to your inner love and your inner compassion with this because I feel like the solar plexus chakra has gotten a bit exaggerated. So you're feeling a sense of pride and 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 strength but you really need to hone into your compassion because your compassion is also what makes you strong here 
this is a time not to overpower with aggression or yeah well i'll just i'll just go with aggression on that one it is not the time to overpower with aggression it is a time to overpower with compassion and being able to meet people on their level and that's something you can do you're very adaptable as a person you've just you've had your ego inflated recently but what you need to remember is her, see her here she's sitting next to the line in peace and almost in a meditative state she respects the lion and doesn't need to tame it she just respects who he is and just meets him down on his level in a meditative and peaceful state and that's the strongest people they know that they don't need to fight and that's something about that you need to realize is you don't need to fight you don't need to prove yourself you don't need to do those kind of things you are strong within yourself regardless and you don't need to prove it you just need to act with compassion you need to connect to the heart center as much as you do need to connect with the willpower and what you're capable of and that's what the lovers is here it's having compassion and connecting to something else, some another person as another you know son as another being as another someone with their own perspective and that's something that you are able to do you are able to connect to other people quite easily and that's that's what it's asking you to do connect to the compassionate side because i've no doubt that's why you're in this incredible confident strong person is because you have an incredible heart to back it up and that's what it's saying it's saying just remember from your heart as well as much of your willpower your willpower acts on your heart but not don't act from your mind and from the ego that's where it can get really dangerous so here we've got yes creativity and healing creativity by all above and all below let me connect let creativity flow candle flame burn this hour bring me to your healing power yeah so if you're needing to prove yourself and prove your worth and exert your dominance why do you need to do that you need to ask yourself if you have this need to 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 dominate something like that why do you have that need do you think have you been taught that from a young age that's why you have to do it or do you feel like people don't recognize you for your gifts and why do you need their recognition for your gifts why do you need it that's the thing you don't need to fight you you don't need to go into battle you just need to trust yourself enough and just connect and understand that they don't that that they have their own perspective they come from their own place and you just need to come from your place at a place of wisdom you know i know people that will call themselves experts but they barely know anything but i know people that you know have studied lot you know years on the same subject and they would never call themselves an expert because they know that you know wisdom teaches how much more humble and how much more you don't know and that's the thing you need to remember that you are powerful but there's still more powerful people out there that you can connect with and grow with you still need to grow you still need to get stronger you don't need to dominate the situation you don't need to be aggressive you don't need to do those things and that's what your solar plexus is saying your solar plexus is coming out and going you're already awesome and you've got this incredible heart why do you need to take it further why do we need to do this we don't need to do that we don't need to fight we we don't need to prove ourselves that's ridiculous you know that's what it's asking you and you may find healing in those moments where you feel like you need to prove yourself and you catch it and you go do i need to do this or is this something within myself and that's going to help heal you that's going to even heal you deeper and even more so these are sort of just some clarifying cards you've got meditation and rebirth yeah so this this is really going to show you something deep within yourself that's just gonna kind of teach you a new way to be like it's so powerful to be able to sit there and not walk into battle and not need to because you know you'll win and you know you don't need to defeat them to answer that question and you're not going to say to them 
oh, I, I know I'm just going to beat you. You don't even need to say that. You just respect that this battle is not necessary. That fight and that energy is not necessary for the both of you. If they want to fight so badly, that's on them. It's not about you. They just need to sort their self out. And that's something that you need to connect with. That's going to offer this new insight, this new way of thinking. And you'll find it will change the way you are as soon as you connect that solar plexus to your heart. These two incredible forces I feel that are inside you that are just wanting to connect on that new level. Um, you know, the heart chakra is also feminine, uh, feminine chakra and the solar plexus is the masculine. And, you know, if you united them both, oh my God, how incredible would you be? How even more incredible I should say you'd be. So yeah, it's really time to get in touch and understand why you're trying to prove yourself so much because you don't need to do it. You never have needed to do it. You're incredible enough without needing to, you know. You don't need to exert this power just for the sake of exerting power. Let's drop that belief straight up. So that's all I'm seeing for my pile fives. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you can, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below um, for any future readings. But other than that, bye guys. Hello to my pile sixes and welcome to your pick a card reading for your chakra message. And let's see who you're working with. We've got the sacral chakra here. So the sacral chakra obviously has the orange energy. It is a yin chakra, a feminine chakra. Um, the crescent moon is associated with it along with the element water. The, moon, uh, the planet it's associated with is the moon and the zodiac sign of Cancer. So this one is very much your creation, your emotions, your creativity. Um, it's connected to the reproductive organs. It's associated with taste. So when it's in a positive or it is basically, it's the value of self and the negative is your low self-esteem. So let's see what the message is for this one. got the devil and the hierophant what a contrast okay for you guys I'm definitely with the devil straight up he does point to an element of addiction now I interpret this card a lot different through my experience compared to I know a lot of other readers but other readers say how someone bad is holding you in a situation but if you look at the original interpretation and picture of the card even though there's people bound by the devil the devil's actually pointing up and showing them the way out but they're refusing to look at him because they blame him for putting them there but the thing is if they looked at him and and actually looked at what he was providing them which was an answer of where the exit was they'd be able to leave and that's the thing they just stay there they've they chain themselves up there and then they blame him. And that's very much what this card represents. It re represents an addiction to the things that make us feel bad. It's the addiction to making us stay in this state of unworthiness, of, of neediness, of um, how would you describe it? It's, it's a lack of self-control or wanting to make yourself a better person. You, you're really harming yourself by staying in the and enabling these you know relationships i'm definitely getting for a few of you that it is relationship based so whether it's lovers or friends you're inviting these people in and because you don't want to be alone and you don't want to have to face the world by yourself you you're just allowing these people to stay around in your life and treat you like this and it's 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 not right it's not what you deserve and you know, it, you may hide, you may vent this out in, in, in certain addictions, whether it's food, alcohol, drugs, or, you know, TV, or spending, you know, money, or something like that, or possessions. Like, there's just something that you just vent that energy out into an, an addiction because that's the only way you think that life has to be, and it's not. The Hierophant next to the Devil card is coming out and saying, you know you don't need to live this life. 
please look beyond what you think you have to live. This is not the life you have to live. This is not what you're worth. And that's the thing. I really feel either it's a person or it's just a part of yourself that is just have to get away all the time and always go on a holiday, like a, a weekend away or something because you don't want to face life. But you have to deal with it. You're letting these people or you're letting this situation or this addiction make you feel crap you're enabling what makes you feel bad and that's not good you shouldn't be doing that because you're actually a really highly educated person and by looking at this this video of these chakra readings I can tell you're already probably looking at spiritual stuff going why can't I get better and it's because you're enabling the bad things to keep making you feel bad and that's not the way it should be you want good things and what that means is there's a lack within yourself and there's something that you need to address within yourself be the hierophant and seek the truth within your soul seek what you really deserve and maybe what has taught you to think that this is how life should be because it's not you deserve so much better you deserve to dance your dance so in a temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. Yeah, I, you don't deserve to feel like this. You don't deserve to feel this bad. You know, addictions only enable a behavior because we're too scared to face what, what's really going on. That's what they are. They are venting an, is, uh, an issue so we can hide away from what we don't want to face. And that's definitely what's going on. You need to really tune into yourself try and do some meditation try and do some yoga or you know some you know i see a lot of feminine workshops where there's you know shakti dancing and getting in touch with your primal self you know really going and seeing a therapist like you need to get in touch with what's going on and why and address the inner problem because you don't need to live this way and you don't need to keep feeling bad you don't and the, it's just going to keep inviting more people to make you feel bad you don't need to feel like that letting go allow the wisdom to remain but the sting i should never feel again yes you don't need to feel like this anymore your your sacral chakra is pleading with you that this is not who you are you were this fiery passionate you know creative person that just has this depth to them that deserves so much more but you just think you don't and that is not true justice by the power of three by three might deliver justice to me the only person that can get justice for you is you the moment you put your foot down and decide i'm worth more than this is the moment that change can happen but you need to make that step you need to make that stand for yourself and you know that's something you really need to look into because you guys deserve so much more so much more i can tell already by your inner temple and the hierophant that you are so beautiful on the inside and you just don't even realize it it's wasting away in things that don't deserve your energy and things that are making you feel bad here you've got the star chakra for divine wisdom and the root chakra for family so I, yeah i really feel like you guys the issues may have originated with family and why it's enabled these habits so really take a look at your family and maybe if they've got the same addiction or they've had the same relationships look at why and why they did it and and have you as a child gone oh i don't want to be like that and then you've acted exactly like that these are the things you need to understand and work out because there's wisdom within you there's knowledge within you that you can help heal yourself it's just it's completely in your hands it's completely up to you this is the power you have but you've got to be willing to do it you've got to be willing to take that power you know i feel like there may be people in your family who also understand this situation because of that family member who's been through the same thing and can help you but you have to make the choice to want to help yourself so this is asking you please 
you deserve to feel good about yourself and deserve things that make you feel good about yourself okay guys so for my pile sixes i re just i can't say it enough you deserve to feel amazing about yourself you don't deserve things that make you feel bad about yourself take the chance make the effort to change it it's all in your hands you are powerful as much as you have believed that you are not powerful you are okay guys so that's all i've got for you um if this reading was helpful in any way um please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below for any future readings but other than that bye guys okay welcome to my pile sevens so you guys your message is the throat from the throat chakra my lucky last pile all right so so the throat chakra is obviously the area of communication it's located at the base of the throat um, it is connected to the thyroid and the sense of hearing so when it's in a positive you find a clarity in expression but when it's in a negative you find yourself lying or manipulating the truth a lot so the energy is obviously blue um, it is connected to the air element and the planet Mercury and the zodiac signs it is associated with is Gemini and Virgo. All right, so let's start with your tarot cards. We've got here the King of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So this is... Um, coming in a bit differently but you guys have really exuded a lot of mental clarity and a lot of mental energy through your journey and you've actually used it to ex express quite um, express a truth that is actually leaked into helping others which is really admirable with this one you know you've acted through intelligence and been decisive and you've done what's necessary you know for uh, for a you know a group of people who are maybe uncertain or you know you've hinged a vote in a certain way but you've really worked for the collective and this is a time to celebrate you guys have followed your truth it this is a real congratulatory moment your yeah your throat chakra is just it's it's quite proud I mean you've with the king of swords here he lives his intellectual truth um, and that has prospered you've done really well with that but the only thing with being smart and strate strategic is now to bring in the emotional and you guys really need to connect the emotional part in this celebration here of the three of pentacles so this is a time um, not only of celebration but collaboration as well this is the time where communication is going to be key and that's something you you know as a collaborator that that's going to be important to make sure your vision holds true and works with others and you're going to be very diplomatic with that your throat chakra is going to be very useful this energy i recommend carrying any chrysocolla crystals or blue lace agate um, it's just going to help amplify your communication skills in this collaboration because it will be with a few people but with your skills you'll be able to take it to the level it needs to go and it's just about trusting that and not letting lies or deceit come into it i don't see that happening like i feel like you'll be really complimentary to other parties in the collaboration but just to remind you not to ever resort to that because if you do it will sully it but i don't see that you will it's just more a reminder it's saying you go first leap the universe will catch you study let my mind be clear and strong and let me study well and long divine guidance whispers from beings who shine let their message be clear and kind yeah so you guys as the King of Swords, I get the feeling that you're already aware of this, but just to reiterate, your study never stops. You never reach the pinnacle of being an expert in anything. You're always studying, you're always learning, you're always growing. And if you ever find yourself stale, it means there's something new that needs to be addressed on the horizon. And that's what this has started. And this is a moment where it's asking you to leap and maybe kind of accept not being the most knowledgeable person in the room anymore not being the king anymore or the boss or the diplomat you know you may have to accept that this might bring up an emotional part of you that is okay to reflect you will 
know that you need to reflect this and how to do it diplomatically but you need to start from maybe from scratch or maybe from a few steps back because it is going to require you to study more and to open yourself up to guidance from others or messages from the universe and you know I feel like you guys haven't had to do that for a while you've just trusted in your abilities and now the time is to actually let that go let the need to have that throne go and that's that's where the communication is going to come in you know if if they ask you to take a step back you've got to be okay with taking a step or communicating why you would prefer not to it's just keeping that doorway open of communication because if you don't then if it bites them in the butt or you in the butt it's not going to help anything in this collaboration that's not going to make it any easier so just really make sure to stay open and receiving then we have inner child and dreams with the third eye and the heart chakra so yeah this is this is just reminding you to be connected to your your heart center your emotional self and this is going to connect a lot to your intuition as well with your dreams you know when we become the king of swords we really forget about the emotional side of ourselves because we get so logical and intellectual and that's where you need to remember how necessary the emotional part of it is you know when you feel vulnerable when you feel like a young kid into a new venture and you get excited because you're like oh i get to go try this and it's new get enjoy that energy you probably haven't felt that in a while and that's what this venture i feel like is going to bring this new wave of studying and this new piece of information it's going to reignite something that you've probably forgotten for a while and that's exciting so it's just saying be open keep yourself open to communication between your collaborators and it is only going to get better and better at this point so that's a really positive mes message for you guys um i hope you enjoyed this reading that's all i'm saying if you did like this reading please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below but other than that bye guys